652 time now for your morning sprint. Hattie says it's another alert day weather-wise, and there's the chance for more heavy rain later today. But first, Eden's live in Greene County as they're cleaning up storm damage from last night. Good morning, Eden. Good morning, Adam and Danica. This is the damage that they will be cleaning up this morning. Down trees, scattered leaves and branches. There are a total of, of about 35 down trees all across Greene County. Now, the Greene County Sheriff's Office received multiple calls about storm damage last night. Six different fire departments and two ambulance companies assisted them in dealing with some of that damage. Earlier this morning, power line crews were working on repairs on Highway 69 near Cold Spring Road. A building on a farm was knocked over. Highway 69 south of Monticello is still closed this morning because of potential tornado damage. It's going to stay closed until noon. Align Energy says six people in Greene County are still without power. For the latest on storm coverage, visit channel3000.com. And there still is the potential for some severe weather a little bit later on today. It's a marginal risk today for far southern Wisconsin. Damaging winds and large hail would be the main threats today, although some locally heavy rain is possible. And timing on that is going to be much later on. Nothing showing up on the radar map right now. Our forecast through the day, mainly dry with highs in the low 80s. Late this afternoon into the evening hours is when showers and thunderstorms are expected to move through the area. Hattie, thank you. Madison police continue to look for two suspects in an armed robbery as we learn more about the man who died during that crime. Police say that victim, 56-year-old Chris Newbuell of Kenosha, died of a heart attack. He and three others were working on remodeling the kitchen at the Culver's off the Beltline when two masked armed men broke into the restaurant and held them at gunpoint. The state's budget technically runs out tomorrow and lawmakers still haven't come up with a new two-year spending plan for Wisconsin. Lawmakers continue to disagree on how to pay for Wisconsin's roads and bridges. Governor Walker met with Assembly Speaker Robin Voss and Senate Majority Leader Scott Fitzgerald yesterday try to find a compromise. The state's current spending levels will remain in place until a new two-year plan is finished. Today is the final production day taking place at the Oscar Mayer plant in Madison. The union president for workers at that facility on the city's northeast side say this says that the production lines will run for a couple of hours this morning before exit interviews take place. The plant will completely shut down next month. There is expected to be severe weather again tonight uh, at the concerts on the square. Severe weather forced the cancellation yesterday. The Wisconsin Chamber Orchestra is supposed to play tonight on the Capitol grounds at 7 o'clock. Concerts are every Wednesday through August 2nd, weather permitting, of course. Part of President Trump's travel ban is expected to take effect today following Monday's ruling by the Supreme Court. People from six predominantly Muslim countries will be denied entry into the U.S. unless they have what justices called a bona fide connection to the country through family, business, or university. It is time that we raise the global baseline of aviation security. Thousands of flights every day would be affected by new safety measures for flights coming into the United States. Homeland Security Secretary John Kelly announced plans to enhance passenger screening, expand the use of bomb detecting dogs, and increase the screening of personal electronic devices. Kelly did not say, though, when those new rules would be implemented. On Capitol Hill today, the House is set to vote on two bills aimed at illegal immigrants who commit crimes and the cities that refuse to deport them. The first bill would increase the maximum penalty for criminals who enter the country illegally. The second is the No Sanctuary for Criminals Act and would withhold federal funds from cities or states that do not cooperate with federal laws regarding illegal immigration. South Korea's new president will be at the White House today. He's going to meet with President Trump and congressional leaders about rising tensions in the Korean Peninsula. North Korea has launched and tested multiple missiles since the new president took office. 6.56 right now. Let's get a final look at your first alert traffic on this Thursday morning with Josh Tim. Good morning, Josh. Morning, guys. Well, still not looking too bad on the Beltline as it's getting busier. A few patches of brake lights starting to pop up on the west side near Stoughton Road and then again near Seminole Highway, but nothing that'll delay you quite yet. Heading down John Nolan into the downtown area, not seeing any delays, but it's beginning to get crowded near Rimrock and then again at Olin Avenue. Uh, some other travel times around the Madison area. Things are looking pretty good cruising along at the posted speeds and no problems with crashes or delays on the interstate in southern Wisconsin. With your first alert traffic, I'm Josh Tim. Thanks so much, Josh. Thank you. And here's a look from the Edgewater Sky Cam. Still a lot of clouds in the Madison area and across southern Wisconsin this morning. Our forecast does call for temperatures to climb back into the lower 80s, though, this afternoon. It is going to be humid as well. Your extended forecast, again, that chance for rain coming later on today into this evening. Today is an alert day with the potential for severe weather. 
quite unsettled heading into the upcoming holiday weekend. Hundreds of people still without power in Rock and Grant counties this morning. Uh, CBS This Morning is going to have live reports from Iowa on the tornado there.